Hey guys, Happy New Year's and welcome to the first tutorial for 2014. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my eyebrows and my foundation first. I'll leave a link to both of those videos over here if you're interested in watching them. Now because I want to do a dark smoky eye, I'm going to use a black eye pencil as my base. You can use a jumbo pencil, a gel liner, or any dark eyeshadow base you have. Just be sure to darken your lash line well and not go beyond your natural crease line. You should have something that looks like this. Now because the eye pencil is creamy, you want to set it with a black eyeshadow so it doesn't crease. Dust away any fallout if you're not using an eyeshadow guard. Next I'm going to use a dark brown eyeshadow and applying a bit of pressure to buff and smoke out the black color into my crease. Next, I'm using a light brown eyeshadow to further blend the dark brown eyeshadow up towards my brow bone. And this is going to give me a really smooth gradient from dark to light. And now I'm going to use an off-white color on my brow bone. And now with the same brush I used the light brown color, I'm going to lightly blend the light brown with the white so there's a smooth transition. Now with the black eyeshadow, I'm going to apply this to my lower lash line and I'm not going to go all the way to the inner corner of my eye. Now I'm going to also apply the light brown color to the lower lash line and this is just going to tie the colors together. Now with the same pencil I used as the base on my lid, I'm going to line my waterline. Now what's a New Year's look without a little sparkle? 
So I'm going to take my brush and dip it in some eyelash adhesive and I'm going to let it dry a little and then when it's tacky I'm going to pick up some gold glitter. Now as you can see I'm just concentrating the glitter in the inner corner of my eyes. I just want a subtle pop of glitter. I don't want it to be too overwhelming. Now this is a craft glitter that is plastic and not metal. You don't want to use a metal glitter near your eyes because it may scratch your eye if it gets in. I would skip this part if you have sensitive eyes, but I've never had a problem with it. So I just want to zoom in here a little bit so you can get a better view of the eyes and a more detailed look at the glitter. So that's pretty much it for the eyes. We just have the lashes to apply, but while the glue is getting tacky on those, I'm going to move on to the lips. Now originally I chose this color for my Shaney Cosmetics lip palette because it looked more plum on the palette itself, but as I was putting it on I noticed it was a little more red than I wanted it to be. So I wiped it off and I chose this other color that I just got and I never wore before. It's a really nice deep color. If you apply it from the tube, it's much more concentrated and darker, so I'm using a lip brush so I can control the color and build it up to my liking. So back to the eyes. Before applying the lashes, I'm going to first apply a couple coats of mascara. Now this is about the fifth time I'm using this pair of lashes on myself and it's probably going to be the last because as you can see it takes a little work to apply them. I've noticed with e.l.f. eyelashes you can only get maybe two or three uses out of them and then after that they start getting a little wonky on me. Okay guys, so that is it. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time.